Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I am the founder of AirShaper. In this video, we'll be looking at glider plane design. This time, we interviewed the people at Friendship Systems, our partner company specialized in variable geometries for flow analysis. They have developed an interactive 3D web application to design a glider plane in your browser. It even includes a first theoretical indication of the aerodynamic properties, after which the model can be sent directly to AirShaper for a full-blown 3D flow analysis. Hey Jen, good morning. Hi Walter. Let me introduce myself first. I'm working at Friendship Systems. In Friendship Systems, we came up with the idea uh, of a glider a model that would be provided to the customers, so the user just using some sliders, changing the parameters, they are going to be able to have a parametric model of a glider. It would be nice if you could just walk us uh, through the entire process. Um, I thought you had a few different steps you wanted to show us. Yeah, sure. First, let me uh, tell you that I do start with the wing itself. The user is asked to introduce some uh, inputs and uh, afterwards, with respect to the parameters, calculate, let's say, mean court, total area, mean aerodynamic court, stuff like this. And afterwards, in the final stage, well, uh, it calculates the neutral point and the CG location of the glider. And all of them are somehow printed uh, within cases. I would like to introduce the application that, yes, that is yes. going to be available for the customers. So here we do start with the camber position and thickness. So let's do a first change. I, mean, I would like to change the camber and now this data is introduced to cases. Now the camber is changed and afterwards comes the phase of the wing. And here you do have like the span length or the, let's say I introduce a certain parameter, which is a sweep parameter or maximum the hedral parameter. Let's say uh, I would like to change the sweep parameter. Okay, and yeah, you can see that the uh, wing tips just moved because of the sweep during this process. Uh, within cases, you can always get the, yeah, as I told before, the uh, total area of the wing or the mean court and the mean aerodynamic court uh, locations, which is in fact quite useful information for the designers of aircraft or gliders. Yes, yes, indeed. See, it's calculated every time you, you do an update, so that's nice. Yeah, and the uh, third time comes for the fuselage where you can perform some changes. Let's say shape factor one. Okay, this time it was kind of uh, not very relevant. And uh, for the fourth page, it's for the vertical tail. In fact, from this part, I would like to go to horizontal tail. And in this part, let's say I would like to play with the um, parameters of the horizontal tail, let's say the vertical location with respect to my horizontal tail. Okay, here you can see some uh, data added. <clears throat> and for each step, uh, I do some balance calculations for the, uh, for the glider itself. So the designer doesn't have to do all those calculations, uh, which would be quite useful. As a final stage, uh, the uh, user is provided with the uh, glider gliding angle and also uh, right now I'm still adding some uh, data but yeah for example I added like the wing cubic loading and also uh, with respect to my gliding angle the uh, total range let's say in theory uh, the total range that the glider uh, can uh, achieve yes, yes. so those data can be used in optimization let's say I would like to uh, play with my parameters in a way increase my total range sounds fantastic these are calculations based on a potential flow like you mentioned with an external tool that you use and then if they go into detail um, they can upload this model directly using your XTSL export function uh, to AirShaper something that we have tested and tried in the past and then they can use a full 3D runs based with turbulence modeling runs based solution uh, based on our platform that's correct right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, the potential flow part is only for the uh, airfoil itself, because for the design, for the initial design, I would need some uh, data. 
uh, because I keep changing my airfoil, but I don't know, let's say, my CL or CD value for the airfoil. And uh, using that, I need I, I do some calculations, but uh, in the final stage, uh, of course, I do need a CFD calculation. Indeed. So, so your formulas, they are based on potential flow for 2D, which means that you look at slices um, at the wing profile at different uh, positions so of the main wing with the fuselage interference effects, for example, or wing tip vortices. Uh, things like that are to be done in a 3D flow simulation. Exactly. And there comes our collaboration. Indeed, indeed. We're looking forward uh, to the release of the product and to, to make it linked with Airshaper completely, automatically, using the APIs in the future. Oh, um, say oh yeah, I'm looking forward. I do thank you, and I'm really looking forward for the push button and get the CFD results uh, Yeah, in collaboration of ours. That would be... Okay. Okay, fantastic. We will also share one of the sample reports we already made using your uh, model that we see right now, uh, something similar, uh, so people could get a preview of what to expect once this tool goes live uh, together with the connection with Airshaper. Um, th so thanks a lot for the interview, Jayhan, and um, I'm looking forward to speak uh, with you the next time uh, once we have launched the tool and we have the first simulations of the customers uh, coming in. I do, thank you. That would be great. Okay, fantastic. Have a nice day and talk to you soon then, Jayen. You as well. Ciao, ciao. Bye. -bye. So that was it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you have any questions about this new and interesting partnership, just let us know. Or if you're working on your own glider plane design, get in touch and we'll have a look at your project. Thanks a lot for liking, sharing and commenting and see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.